Happy Friday. Welcome to today's edition of Melville Today. I'm Christian Ulmer. And I'm Emma Samir. Today we take a look at one student's adventure with her junior ring, a spotlight on a club at Melville, and one athlete making a lot of racket. And it all starts now. now. platform that allows students to electronically send their transcripts. Let's take a look. So SCORE is a college search program that allows students to search for colleges, follow them, but the first thing it does is help students get exposure to different types of colleges based on their interests and where what types of colleges they want to go to and what they want to major in. And then on top of that, the nice thing on our side, besides exposing students to multiple colleges, is that we can send all of the recommendation letters, transcripts, test scores, anything like that. We can send it electronically now, which saves us money, <laughs> so that's good. They started to roll it out officially to every student. Every student got an invite. We did the juniors and seniors first one week, and then we did the sophomores and freshmen another week. Um, but we rolled it out to all the TAPs. All the students got a personal invite from SCORE to their email, and then they set up their account. So your account is your, your username is your Melville email, and then your password is whatever you made your password to be. And then once you're signed up, you can start following colleges. Um, they it's It hooks you into their Twitter accounts and their Facebook accounts, and so you can be seeing what those colleges do, if, um, ways to send your transcripts if you're a senior. So if you get stuck on anything, you can come ask any of us and we'd be happy to help you. But everyone can get their account set up, it's easy. I think it's helping com with the communication a lot with the students because once they can see uh, the transcripts been sent and they can see when the university received it, and that's not something we've had available to students before. Uh, when we were only using the blue card, we can tell them when it was sent, but we couldn't get a confirmation that the university actually pulled it and looked at it. But under SCORE, we can see that someone from the university actually has to take pull that university and make it live for them and now we can see that date. So of course our Missouri schools are still pretty popular. Um, Mizzou is popular, uh, uh, Missouri State is popular, SEMO is popular, Webster University is popular, of course St. Louis University. Those are traditionally the schools that and continue to be the schools that are most popular. Um, but we'll have a lot of students uh, looking at Missouri Baptist. We have a lot of students looking at the community college. With photographer Ryan Williams, this is Kevin Lemmy signing off with Melville today. Don't forget to use SCORE to send your transcripts. With the holidays coming up, students will be working longer hours. Let's take a look at some fun jobs. Brady and I have the story. I like my job because it's a way for me to teach little kids on how being a male gymnast is a great thing. And since I can't do gymnastics anymore, it really impacts them because since I was a gymnast, I'm able to show them what to do and how fun it actually is. Work at Skyzo. I'm a court monitor. That is basically like a lifeguard, just minus the water. Uh, I like uh, just talking to kids, making sure they're having fun, and then always delivering wow, which is one of our basic five facts. And that just really, I love it. I work at Sweet and Sassy in West County Mall. I'm a party coordinator, so I host parties, and what we do is we take all the girls and we give them a little makeover, and they get to dress up, and we do their hair and nails and makeup and then we get to go either do um, a runway show or like a princess coronation or they get to do karaoke and sometimes we take them into the spa and they get pedicures and face masks and stuff. It's a lot of fun and they love it. One of the most memorable parts about junior year is buying a ring. A current Melville senior, Brady, has an interesting story. Here's a story about a junior ring that went from Destin to St. Louis. Last summer I took my best friend Carly to Destin, Florida with me and we stayed there for like a week and during that time we like went to go eat dinner one night and I spilled my tea like all over my purse and I had to go outside and clean it. So I dumped everything out of my purse and I guess 
my junior ring was just like sitting in the bottom of my purse and whenever I dumped everything out it just got lost like on the ground and I didn't even know it until I think like a day or two later Melville called my mom. I received a phone call from a gentleman um, that said that he was vacationing in Destin, Florida and that he had found um, a class ring from 2018. He said on the, in, uh, on the ring or inside the ring it had the name Brady. And so I went ahead and looked in our system and I found one student with that name. And so I got in contact uh, with her mom. Uh, the gentleman had left me his name and telephone number. So I called the mom. She said yes, they were still down in Destin, Florida uh, vacationing. So she called the gentleman. We met up with them and they gave me my ring back. Moral of the story is to have a unique name so you can put it on your senior ring and not lose it. <laughs> Years from now, Brady will have more than just a ring, but a story to tell behind it. There are many clubs around the school. This club allows for students to share some memorable moments. Friends Club takes place once a month, and at each meeting we kind of sit and decide when everybody else can meet. During Friends Club, we usually have some kind of an activity. We might cook, we might do a craft, we listen to a lot of music. There's some dancing that goes on, uh, lots of just hanging out time and getting to know each other. It's really important for our students who might not usually get the chance to join an extracurricular activity. This gives our students the chance to get to know some familiar faces. It's really meaningful for them. This November, our friends focused on Thanksgiving. We um, traced a feathered paper thing and then we got to write on what we got to write on it and say what we're thankful for. Thank you to um, my mom. I'm thankful for my car. I want to say thank you to my parents. Signing off with photographer Isaiah Bynum, I'm Megan Miller from Melville Today. All the best to everyone in Friends Club. Tennis is a tough sport, but one member makes it look fairly easy. Hi, my name is Matthew Knezevic and we're going to be showcasing one of Melville's best athletes. She got second place in state this year only as a junior. Take a look as we talk to her and her coach. So that I will need to improve on is my conditioning. Um, I also would like to improve on like my weapons or the, my tools that I use in a, in a game so I can also be a more versatile player in like windy conditions or when it gets really hot. I like to have more control. Um, for my past three years, Coach Wu has been there for me all the way through. Uh, she has really helped improve my mental game and just giving me confidence on the court. Um, the confidence on the court is so important in tennis, just it keeps you in the game even when you're down. So since she is, like, even though she has not played much tennis, I really feel that like she's been there for me just mentally throughout every match. How has it been coaching Allison so far? <sighs> I can say one word, easy. Um, Allison has, is one of those very easy people to coach because she is so passionate and dedicated about what she is doing that all she is focused on is getting better. So that makes it, as a coach, that makes it very easy. She is, as I like to tell other coaches when we play them, she is probably one of a kind. Um, you don't get many athletes like Allison come through, and I'm not just talking about playing ability, I am just talking about her passion and dedication to anything that she is doing. She wants to succeed, and so just even that aspect makes her probably the best player I've ever seen. But yes, the fact that she competes at the level that she does and she's as good and athletic as she is, yes, by far the best athlete. Expectations of her, I, I think, I don't know if she'll lose another match or set her senior year. Um, the fact that she, this year as a junior, the first set that she actually lost was in the championship match at the state finals. I would hope that she will be state champ next year um, and probably have... Uh, like I said, zero losses by the end of the season. I think right now she's around <laughs> 50 and two player of the year in our conference this year. I would imagine she'll be player of the year in our conference next year. I don't see anybody coming up that will take that from her. Um, and I, one of kind of, I think our personal goal that we like to, to joke around a little bit about is that if Allison wins states next year that Dr. Swanger will pronounce her name correctly over the loudspeaker for us. <laughs> Congratulations to Allison and all of her accomplishments. We know that you have great things in store. Now let's take it to the court. Let's take a look at two of our varsity senior basketball boys and their motivation for this upcoming basketball season. 
Well, they've all been working uh, pretty hard. Um, you know, I would have to go with uh, senior Trey Reese at this point probably uh, if I had to single someone out. Uh, he's put in a lot of extra time and uh, you know, he's, he's developing into a nice player. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, you got to be skilled uh, with shooting, passing, dribbling, stuff like that. Uh, but pretty much a person that's uh, selfless, um, you know, they're, they're not looking for the, 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 the glory themselves necessarily. Uh, but, uh, you know, we like to be able to move. We like, we call it positionless basketball. So you got to be able to guard all positions. You got to be able to handle the basketball, play virtually all positions. So, um, you know, pretty much that, just, a, just an overall skill set. Last year, we, we won about nine games, and uh, you know I think one of the, the biggest things that's uh, kind of evolving here as we're as as we're going through the preseason here is uh, you know them fall in love with uh, the process of getting better and uh, not really so much worried exclusively about winning, 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 and, and more so worrying about um, you know getting better. Now we're going to talk to some varsity senior basketball boys. I've been playing since my freshman year, but I've been on varsity since my sophomore. Year. Well, it me up is the music we listen to, and my teammates constantly yelling and telling us that we're from the win. So it gets me focused and it wants me to play harder. Even the losses, they just I just like playing basketball. So just my passion for the game, it keeps me going no matter what. With photographer Cam Gilmore and Elmo Zakinich, this is Melville Today. Wrestling is very often a tough sport. Coach Bauer and some of the players tell us more. This is my seventh year as the head coach. Mainly the just the desire to fight and the desire to go out and give their all every day. Um, they don't have to necessarily be the best. They don't have to necessarily like know everything about it. But if they're willing to go out and fight, I'm, I'm looking for fighters. On all levels, we only had about 40, which is a little bit different than what we normally do. Uh, for the past couple of years, I've started off with about 60 wrestlers, but I did have a lot of people decide that they didn't want to come out this year for whatever reason. And we're still a sizable team with about 35 kids. People that have been putting in the work, um, Joe Siegel, Tristan, uh, John Grove, there's really a, a big market for um, for wrestlers, I mean, there's a lot of different opportunities for them, especially with the girls. Even girls who don't have any high school experience can go to wrestle in college and can still get on. And uh, Carly is getting a lot of looks from schools all over the country. Sam is getting some national attention. She's ranked fifth in the country at 225. So, you know, there's a lot of looks from colleges coming our way. I've been wrestling for Melville since my freshman year. Uh, Coach Bauer invited me out when I was uh, playing football. Being a good wrestler, um, you need to be physically and mentally tough and just have a lot of perseverance and grit. I like wrestling because it's harder than all the other sports, and so I, I like being able to say that I'm tough enough to be able to compete in a really tough sport. Wrestling has really helped with my uh, mental toughness. It just makes all your other problems seem smaller. In freestyle, I placed at Fargo, which is one of the like world national tournaments. So I'm an All-American. I am a national champion, and I got ranked in fifth in the nation. What goes into being a successful wrestler is the motivation and determination to push through everything that your coaches or the opponents throw at you, basically to just work as hard as you can and leave it all on the mat. With Jiren Pruitt and Max Hayes, this is Layla Petrovic with Melville Today. The wrestling team has accomplished a great deal, and with their motivated mindset, they can only go further. This concludes this edition of Melville Today. For more coverage, check us out at melvillemedia.com. For more updates on social media, check us out at Melville Media. Thank you for watching. <laughs>